Hi everyone, Mrs. Tortolo, your librarian here. And I am here to show you how to do an assignment on Google Slides and how to edit it and turn it in. So we are in a Google Classroom here. I'm showing you my screen and I will show you exactly what happens when I complete an assignment and then hopefully you will be able to do the same thing in your classroom. So we're in a classroom here. I'm gonna go down to the classwork tab down here. So I'm going to click on classwork and I'm going to pick an assignment that I want to work on. So I'm gonna click up here where it says reading interest survey. I'm going to click on this assignment. Now, the first thing, the most important thing I need to do first, I need to come down to the bottom. See here it says your work, and then here there's a gray arrow pointing up. So the first thing I do is I'm going to click on the gray arrow. And now you will see that there is a copy of Google Slides that's been made for me. It's got my name on it. Your copy will have your name on it. Now, I don't want to click turn in yet because I haven't done any work on it yet. Before I click turn in, I need to make some changes to this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on this Google Slides document here to open it. So I'm just going to wait a few seconds for it to open. Now, I know you can see the gray pen here, but we don't want to click on this gray pen because this will only let us mark it up using marks with your finger. What we actually want to do is open this in Google so we can type in this document. So you see up here in the top right corner where I'm pointing, you see there's a gray square with a diagonal arrow pointing out of it. This is what we want to click so that we can open it in Google Slides ourselves. So we're going to click on this gray square with an arrow inside it. I'm going to click on that right now. And now you see it's opened in Google. It sometimes takes a couple of seconds to do this. I'm not touching the screen right now. I'm just waiting while it jumps through those screens. So now you will see that I am inside my copy of the reading interest survey. So now I can click on these and drag these to where I want to put them. And more importantly, if I go down to one of the slides, like slide number three here, if I double tap here, it brings up the keyboard and I can type here. Awesome. So then when I am done with this document, I'm not going to put all my answers in here, but I just wanted to show you how you can type. The next super important step, come all the way to the top left here. Do you see this gray check mark? I need to click on this check mark when I am done and this will save my work. So take a look in the top left where I'm pointing. I'm going to click that check mark. Now my work is saved, but I still need to turn it in. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to click the home button of my iPad. So I'm gonna click the home button and now I am going to go back to Google Classroom. So see down here, the green square with the orange border right there. I'm going to click on that to go back to Google Classroom. Now I'm going to X out of this document. And now we are back at the turn in section. But this time we are ready to click turn in because we have made changes. If you wanted to double check that the changes were made, you could click up here on the document just to make sure. But I know that those changes were made. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click turn in and then it will double check that I really want to turn it in. I will click turn in again and then I'm just going to wait a second and it says assignment turned in. If you turned it in too early by mistake, you can just click unsubmit right there and that will bring it back to you and you can make changes. But for now, that is all you need to do. So but remember, you have to open it twice, you have to save it with the check mark and then you have to come back 
to Google Classroom to turn it in. I know it seems like a lot of steps the first time you do it, but once you've done this once or twice, you'll really get the hang of it and you won't even think about it. It'll just be like riding a bike. So good luck getting your work done and thank you for listening.